This is more vinegar base. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, that's got some kick. Hey everybody, Robbie Melvin, Southern Living. Welcome to Barbecue and A with legendary pit master, James Beard Award winner, Rodney Scott. It is Birmingham, Alabama location of Rodney Scott's Barbecue. Rodney, thank you for having us today. Thank y'all for coming. And man, I don't want to waste any time. I want to get back in the pit room and talk all things South Carolina whole hog cooking. Come on, let's, let's go. go. I'm seeing a lot of action going on over here. What, what stage of your whole hog cooking are we in right now? We're almost in the final stage of our whole hog cooking. Okay. Right now we're at the point where we're going to take another wire and flip them over. Got it. And once Got we it. flip it over, we're going to break it up and add a little secret seasonings to it. My lovely apprentice Roscoe here. Oh, Roscoe, all right. Be assisting yeah, well, well, me. I'm going to let the professionals flip this. You know, normally I'd want to get in there, but what's the weight on these? The, the weight on these are about 165. One of them is about 170. Gotcha. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. And this is just pure smoke, this right? Yeah. Pure smoke. What, what is your uh, wood preference? Oak, uh -huh. hickory, some pecan, if I can find it. Pecan, pecan. Yeah, All depends yeah. on which part of the south you're from exactly. is how they say exactly. it. Ideally, I mean, for a 160-some-odd pound hog, what's your ideal cook time to get it Man. Rodney Scott perfect? At least 12 hours. Okay. At a, at a temperature of about anywhere from 220 to 250. I like to keep it steady right there. Yeah. and just, just keep going for 12 hours. We got a couple more steps. We're gonna break up all of this right here with the spoon a little bit, kind of open up the cavity so we can get our dry rub and seasonings in there. So you weren't kidding, you really are just breaking this thing up. Yeah, opening up some nice little hot spots in there. And this is what, 12 hours, that tender? It's just like coming to, just coming to pieces. Oh yeah. We're about to add our little hog seasoning to it. So is this like a secret seasoning you got here? It's or? kind of a secret, okay. you know, not much yeah. of a secret. We'll let that stand, yeah. Ben. It's more technique than, than what's in it. Well, man, let's 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 get this thing right. All right, we're going to sprinkle it all over here. Oh, yeah. So next is the mop, right? We're going to mop it next. All right, so. well, man, I would love to uh, pass you your mop here. Right. Yeah. So we'll get the mop. Right. Now, this is a... Uh, very thin sauce. Is it more vinegar? It's basically vinegar with uh, cayenne and black pepper. So this is, I mean, to me, can, is it safe to say this sort of epitomizes South Carolina whole hog method, or at least the Rodney Scott oh, method, man. right? Yeah, definitely the Rodney Scott method in South Carolina. Man, Rodney, I've got to get in here. I don't think there's a bad place to, to reach, right? I hope not. Reach anywhere. Oh, man. There you go. Beautiful. It's a good bite. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Thank you. So you're gonna make me a sandwich out of this, correct? I'm gonna make you a great sandwich. I'm gonna give you a Rodney Scott sandwich. Well, let's do that. All right. Let's do it. All right, so Rodney, this this is not the ordinary Rodney Scott menu sandwich you've got for me here. This is not the okay. ordinary Rodney Scott's menu sandwich. This is that Rodney Scott that hides in a corner and makes it himself a sandwich. First of all, we're gonna grab us some white bread. Okay. So that's my favorite. All right. Then we're going to strap from the hog. Straight from the hog. This is mostly shoulder and the rib area. Nice. One of my favorite parts. Then tell me about this right here. Man, these are our pork skins, cracklings, you know, with a little, little piece of meat here and there. Oh, wow. We got our famous mm -hmm. rib rub dusted over them lightly. Once you get these on, the last and final step, you want to put a little bit of rod sauce on there. Rod sauce, that is your signature sauce. That's now, is that, that's different sauce. from the mop sauce, right? Same exact sauce. Same exact, okay. Just a little extra for the table. I like it. And you don't want to squirt it all over the meat. You just want to get a little bit over the pork rinds. Now, is that to kind of maybe soften them a little bit? Soften them just a touch. Okay. It's that final step. Final step. Put that bread on top. Uh-huh. And before you do anything, you spread that hand, go down. <laughs> Okay, oh, feel man. a little crunch here and there. Yes, I can feel it. All right, so. Oh man, look at that. And now you just dig in. Rodney, this is an honor to eat, eat your sandwich, man. Thank you. It's just amazing. Texture, flavor of the hog. I know I got sauce all over my mouth, it's so good. So Rodney, whole hog is your signature, but you guys do many, many other things here. Let's get a plate full of food and sit down and chit chat for a while. Let's do that. Let's do it, man. 
Rodney. All right. Man, I'm so many things here. Certainly more than just whole hog going on around here. Definitely more than whole hog. Um, like we have our Diddy turkey sandwich. Then we have the mac and cheese. Yes. The collards, hush puppies, smoked chicken, smoked ribs, fresh cut fries, coleslaw, catfish, catfish yes. jumbo wings, banana pudding. Uh, I'm most excited about getting getting to this, yeah. but, but, but all yes. in good time. This looks amazing, man. I'm gonna kind of be picking as we talk. If you had to describe your philosophy and what you do, how would you do that? There, there's a slogan I like to say that we even imprint it on the wall, every day is a good day. Yes, I've so, seen it on t-shirts around here too. Yeah, it's t-shirts, it's, it's, it's something I say all the time to myself, to remind us that life is good. Yes. And you know, to do all of this and to eat all of this is a bonus. From South Carolina, in Charleston has been a it has been a big thing for you. That is the home of the original Rodney Scott's Barbecue in Charleston, South Carolina. And what does that mean to you? Just having you know starting out there and just moving into that scene, which is a huge restaurant scene anyway. Coming in doing your thing in Charleston. It's amazing to be in in the group of such amazing chefs, restaurants in one city. I kind of see it as you know this is my version of fine dining. You know, hey, this, this, is, this is some fine dining for sure. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Well, man, you're an incredibly humble guy, but I wanna talk about, you know, some of your accolades. Okay. You know, you are the only African-American James Beard award-winning pit master. One of two pit masters who've ever won the James yeah. Beard award. I mean, what was that moment like? That moment was so surprising. It was so shocking that the night that they called my name, I didn't hear it. Yeah. And if it wasn't yeah. for the people sitting next to me in my row, my partner and family, if they weren't sitting next to me in that row, I would have never known to get up. That's how shocking it was. And, and to later find out, you know, that I was one of the only two pit guys to get it. And yeah. the first African-American was even more overwhelming. And I still can't believe it. What was the first thing you barbecued? The first thing I barbecued, it was a whole hog. I had to maintain the fire and cook the hog all day. And didn't burn it. I mean, from that moment, I mean, when you, I'm sure light bulbs are going off. I mean, you were like, wow, this is, this is what I'm put here to do. Did you have a moment like that? I did. I have those moments all the time. You know, I, I flash back to that particular moment on a regular basis, almost every time I cook a hog, to do it like you did it the first time. Yeah. To not go too far away from what worked. You know, kind of like the saying, dance with the girl you brought to the party. So you want to you stick to that same thing and, and make sure and be cons as consistent as you can. Sure. Well, man, it's that comes through again in everything you do, Thank you. and I, I, I have to skip right to dessert here because oh, banana man. pudding is like we don't judge you. right at the pace. I in. appreciate that. I ain't gonna let you do this by yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh man, oh, this ain't right. So, Rodney, we have a tradition on barbecue and A okay. where we have this board here. We like all of our pit masters to sign. I wonder okay. if you would do me the honor of putting your Rodney Scott on oh, here. Oh man, I would be more than happy to. With the world's largest Sharpie. <laughs> man, thank you so much for today. This has thank meant you. the world to me thank to be here with you, you and to taste your food. Oh, I appreciate ours. everything, man, for sure.